In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of downloading the YQR plugin from its official website and installing it in AutoCAD. As you can see, I don't currently have YQR installed in my AutoCAD. So let's begin. First, open your browser and search for YQR. At the top of the results, you'll see a Chinese website with the link yqr.cn. Click on it. If this is your first time opening the website, you may see a warning that the website doesn't have a secure connection. This happens because the site doesn't use the HTTPS protocol. Don't worry. Simply click continue to site to proceed. Now we are on the official YQR website. By default, the page appears in Chinese, which most of us may not understand. But don't worry, a pop-up will appear asking if you'd like to switch the language to English. Just click English, close the pop-up, wait a few seconds, and the site will translate into English. On the home page, you'll notice that the latest version available is YQARC 6.7.4, released on April 7, 2022. Now click on the first link labeled Source Design. This will take you directly to the download section. Find YQARC 6.7.4 Source Design and download the simplified Chinese English bilingual version. Save the file to your preferred location. At this point, your browser may block the download, warning you that it's an insecure file. That's normal. Just click Keep to continue. Once the download is complete, locate the .rar file, right-click and extract it. After extraction, copy the entire folder and paste it into your C drive. Before proceeding, make sure AutoCAD is closed. Then open the extracted YQR folder, go to the SYS subfolder, find the setup file, and run it as administrator. During installation, the dialog box will appear in a language we can't fully read. That's fine. Just click the first button, then hit OK. Now launch AutoCAD. The first time you install the plugin, AutoCAD may ask whether you want to load YQR. On my PC, the prompt doesn't appear since I've already installed it before. But if it shows up for you, select Always Load, you may need to confirm it twice. After that, create a new drawing and you'll see the YQR plugin added to your interface. However, there's one issue. The interface will still appear in a different language, most likely Chinese. We'll fix that in the next video where I'll show you how to change YQR to English under the user preferences part 1. If you have made it this far and found this video helpful, please give it a like, leave a comment if you successfully installed the plugin, share it with your colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to Beam Design Studio for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.